The time of unusual and legendary aircraft is running out irrevocably. The reason is computer simulation. Today, developers know in advance whether the plane will fly or not. In this video, we will recall the days of pure engineering, when airplanes were created because of beautiful ideas of courage or as a result of the insight of aircraft designers. 9. The B-17 also started with a crash, but the further fate of the American bomber was more successful. The aircraft had 12 12.7mm Browning M2 machine guns, so the term Flying Fortress was forever assigned to this particular model. The massive bombing of B-17 specifically brought the Allies closer to victory in World War II. The only weak point of the bomber was the front plexiglass fairing. This flaw manifested itself when Luftwaffe fighters attacked the B-17 from the front. In other respects, the plane showed miracles of survivability and almost always returned from a combat mission, even with one engine running out of four. At the same time, after being hit by the German aces, its casing looked like a colander. Our next hero, eight, the legendary B-52. The pilots call it the buff. Its first drawing was sketched on an ordinary napkin and it turned out to be the most successful aircraft in the world. How can one not believe in heavenly revelation after that? In comparison, the B-17 is a puny teenager. The wingspan of the B-52 is 56.39 meters. Its length is 40.05 meters. Bus maximum bomb load reaches 31,500 kilograms. The combat range is 7,210 kilometers and the flight without refueling is 14,000 kilometers. In 2018, near the city of Hashem, Syria, a strike team with the participation of B-52 sent a couple of hundred Russians, as Mark Pompeo put it, into the land of perpetual hunt. But the main feature of the B-52 is its versatility. The aircraft can be armed with any bombs and missiles from the U.S. arsenal, including nuclear warheads. Although some aircraft are approaching 70 years old, the B-52 is still in service with the United States Air Force. Moreover, their operation has been extended until 2044. No one imagined that Buff would last that long. Back in late 1954, the commander of the U.S. Air Force Strategic Aviation, General LeMay, was looking for a promising replacement for the B-52. The tender was won by North American Aviation, which presented a project of the breathtaking B-70 Valkyrie aircraft. 7. Valkyrie's futuristic design matches the 1960s engineering fashion. The whole world dreamed of space back then. NASA representatives participated in the refinement of the Valkyrie for good reason. The striking features of the B-70 are the delta wing and trapezoidal front horizontal tail. But the main advantage is its incredible flight characteristics. The highest speed and altitude during the XB-70 tests were Mach 3.08, and 22,555 meters, respectively. However, the aircraft's incomparable capabilities became its misfortune. The high speed heated the glazing of the cabin, peeled off the paint from the sheathing, and sometimes the sheathing itself was destroyed. Almost every B-70 node required scientific discoveries and new technical solutions. Not only the equipment suffered, the pilots also did. To address the plight of pilots, the Valkyrie's cockpit was kept under constant pressure and temperature. For this, the glazing was made double. When the second glass rose, it was possible to fly only on instruments. The XB-70 was clearly ahead of its time. The development of technology lagged behind the ideas of designers. Each flight cost taxpayers $11 million. Therefore, the project was closed. In total, two copies were built. One of them crashed during the test. The second airplane became an exhibit at the Air Force Museum at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Vivat Valkyrie. 6. The 60s of the last century gave us another hero, the T-4 bomber, which was developed by the designers of the Sukhoi Design Bureau. Due to the obvious similarity with the XB-70, the Soviet aircraft was nicknamed the Russian Valkyrie. On the sidelines of the Design Bureau, T-4 was called Satka. It was supposed to be the perfect hunter for American aircraft carriers. However, the Soviet industry was unable to provide the T-4 with the appropriate technology. In addition, at the beginning of the 70s, 
The Sukhoi Design Bureau was fine-tuning the finished SU-24, and the SU-25 and SU-27 were being developed at the same time. And the T-4 required so much money and effort that the rest of the project was jeopardized. 5. The Lun Ekrano Plan Strictly speaking, this is not really an airplane, but rather a combat flying ship that can be operated even in a five-point storm. According to the international classification, Ekranoplans are classified as seagoing vessels. U.S. intelligence called it the Caspian Monster. Whoever has seen Lund at least once remains its fan forever. The dimensions of the Ekranoplan are amazing. The wingspan is 44 meters, the length is 73.8 meters, and the takeoff weight is 380 tons. At a speed of 500 kilometers per hour, this colossus rushes over the water at an altitude of only a few meters. The flight is supported by the airflow between the wing and the surface. The LUN is the real killer of aircraft carriers. Each of its six Mosquet missiles is capable of sinking an aircraft carrier. It combines the advantages of an airplane and a ship. However, there are also disadvantages. The Akrano plan is fast only for aircraft carriers, but in comparison with airplanes and missiles, the LUN is a clumsy goof. This means that it is not able to survive without massive air cover. Why divert aviation to defend a Krano plan when aircraft are capable of attacking an aircraft carrier on their own? The combat at Krano plan project was frozen. However, the Russians still have a lot of aviation technology that can surprise even the most sophisticated aircraft enthusiast. 4. Tu-160 Supersonic Strategic Bomber Missile Carrier Commissioned in 1987 In the NATO classification, this giant with variable wing geometry is listed as Blackjack. The Russians call it White Swan. It is the heaviest combat aircraft in the world. The maximum takeoff weight is 275 tons, which is 15% more than the B-52s. The mass of the missile and bomb armament is 45 tons. The Tu-160 is so formidable that the first combat use of a missile carrier took place only in 2015 in Syria. The strikes were carried out by planes armed with the latest KH-101 strategic cruise missiles. All 16 missiles hit the indicated targets, and the planes returned safely to the airbase. After the Syrian operation, Russia resumed production of the Tu-160 in the M2 modification. 3. Tu-95 Although the Tu-95 resembles a moot due to its turboprop engines, in the NATO classification, the plane is called Bear. Tu-95 is weaker than both B-52 and Tu-160 in all respects. The age of the bomber is decent, 65 years from the date of commissioning of the first copy. However, due to its ability to carry KH-101 cruise missiles at a distance of 10 to 15,000 kilometers, depending on the modification, the Bear remains in the service of the Russian Aerospace Forces and is actively used in local conflicts. 2. C-130A Hercules Hercules is the world record holder for the number of modifications, up to 70. There is even a version for an aircraft carrier. Perhaps there is no more deserved and respect aircraft in the world. The number of people saved is comparable to the population of an average European country. American soldiers in Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and other hot spots of the planet prayed for it. And when it was suddenly appearing in the sky, swinging its wings, hope was born in the soul of the soldiers. Perhaps Hercules has earned a second name, Hope. 1. AN-225 Maria, which translated from Ukrainian as Dream, although in the NATO codification, the name is more militant. Cossack. The plane exists as a single copy and is intended for the carriage of special cargo. The giant's wingspan is 88.4 meters. This is 20 meters wider than the Anfield Stadium in Liverpool. Fantastic! The length of the AN-225 is also impressive, 84 meters. Not every airport in the world is capable of receiving such a giant. The reasons include its large mass. The maximum takeoff weight of Maria is 640 tons, including the payload of 250 tons. On April 14, 2020, the plane transported the largest cargo in the history of aviation on the Tianjin-Almaty-Warsaw route. 
It was a humanitarian mission. Emria brought medicines for COVID-19 for the Polish population. We are sure that this kind of giant will save many more human lives. He has a glorious career ahead of it. By today's standards, Emria is quite a teenager, and we will closely monitor its fate. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about unique aircraft.